let's also talk about principles of math. So book one covers arithmetic and introduces a little bit of geometry. So it's firming up what they should have already learned in grades one through six or the, okay. the previous math courses and really making sure that they know it and fill in any gaps. So I wrote it assuming kids were coming from any curriculum and tried to make sure all those gaps would get filled before they went into high school. Because what happens is if you start dealing with letters in algebra mm -hmm. and you didn't really understand the concept with concrete numbers back in arithmetic, mm -hmm. you're lost. And a lot of kids end up just really struggling there. And it's mm -hmm. because they didn't understand fractions earlier or some concept from earlier. So it is reviewing that, but it's reviewing it while including a ton of mass history and science and practicality so that they're getting that biblical worldview and really understanding, okay, this is why we're studying this and this is mm -hmm. how it's going to God. And they're building their problem solving skills. So it really emphasizes and teaches problem solving skills rather than a ton of problems each day to solve. There'll be fewer, but they're structured so that they mimic more real life situations. So in a real life situation, when you're trying to solve a problem, it doesn't come with, you need to use addition, you need to use subtraction. It's, mm -hmm. And it's not written in a perfect way where you can figure that out by the wording, right? right? You just have this problem to solve. Well, I want students to be able to use math for God's glory in whatever field he calls them. Mm -hmm. So part of that is learning to really break down multi-step problems and real life problems. And so that's mm -hmm. taught and done in the worksheets as well, a lot in book one. And then in the second part, it introduces some geometric concepts just to kind of give them that big picture when they do head off into geometry of like, what am I doing here? Okay. But along the way, they're continuing to review a lot with fractions and with unit conversion, because that's another area where a lot of students will get to upper math or science and not really understand what to do with all these units. And so that's stressed a lot in book one to really both review fractions and prepare them for what's coming next. Mm -hmm.